Mallory just finished up with her interview today. She had an interview for an elementary position and things went well. She left a good impression. And we should know for this and the Tennessee job if she's hired or not by like next week or something. So right now we're going into the Richland Mall in Columbia, South Carolina and getting a bite to eat. Never mind, it smells pitiful. You see this? Everything. Like more than more than fifty percent of the mall is actually like shut down. And uh, there's only like two places to eat. So we're gonna go somewhere else. This is creepy, man. Dead, 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 dead. This entire part of the mall. Like there's nothing over here at all. Yeah, we uh we should probably go elsewhere if we want to get anything to eat. McAllister's. I've never eaten here before, but my mother has always spoken very highly of it, so let's give it a shot. French dip with fruit cup and whatever the heck I got. Some kind of uh, chipotle chicken with mashed potatoes. Uh, we'll let you know how it is. Okay. Really, really interesting. Um, it's, it is chipotle chicken, but it's not spicy, which is what I'm used to. Actually, it's a very sweet sauce. It's sweet chipotle chicken, which I didn't know they could do, but they apparently can, and it's very good. Also, the, the mashed potatoes are really good. Um, there's flakes of pepper, and I think there's other spices used in the gravy. It's really, really good. I wish I had a lot more potatoes. What do you think of yours? How does it how does it compare to uh, Arby's? Better. <laughs> <laughs> I know you. I know that you like Arby's. I don't like Arby's. I don't like roast beef. Like, I can eat it, but it's like my least favorite meat. Chicken wins all the time. The gas light came on, so I absolutely had to get gas. Like it was, it was like, yeah, I need to get some gas. I was just gonna get like a gallon or two, so I get somewhere cheaper. Um, here at Sonico, hopefully you can see that from here. Yeah, you can make it out. It's 3.29 for regular. Okay. Once I actually got stopped and I uh, got to take a, a look at this, it's 3.39. You see this? This is regular. 3.30. It's 10 cents higher than what they're advertising on the sign. And there's no one over there changing the sign. It's just, you know, once you actually get here, it's 10 cents higher. That's false advertising. Okay. We made it back home, and my parents have apparently been doing some extreme yard work. There was a huge bush here. Where? Oh, I see it. Here's a little baby praying man. Green one right here, and a brown one here, and another green one over there. Oh, and there's another one right here. Man, they're everywhere. Holy praying mantis, Batman! It's funny watching them. Like, hold on. Anyway, yeah, there was a huge bush here. Well, obviously, it's still there. It's just not there. Does that make sense? That makes sense. All of these have been trimmed up. Mm. These haven't been touched in a long time, too. Hmm. Oh wow, that's uh, that's some serious foliage. And the front of the house has smaller bushes as well. Little bushes. Yeah. Oh, whoa! Yeah, stuff's in the way there. Cool, neat yard work. I'm, I'm okay with yard work. Well, I'm okay with. The work being done on the yard. I myself am not a fan of yard work or being outside in the hot sun. There's a lizard. You see a lizard? Oh, yeah, I see him. There are so many bugs. Hey, buddy. Where are you going? <laughs> it's filled with spinach, um, mushrooms, um, pesto, garlic. It has a lot of flavor in it. Mm -hmm. This is a portobello mushroom. I've never actually had one. Uh, but my mom made them for dinner, and they look pretty awesome. And the, the top is um, breadcrumbs and cheese. You, oh, you already cut yours open. This is the mushroom. Mine it's, fell apart. It's good? Mm -hmm. It's very good. I'm anxious. That is absolutely amazing. <laughs> do you like it? Yes. <laughs> yeah, I do. Wow, that's really good. I've never had a portobello mushroom, especially one that's... Stuffed. Stuffed with all this stuff. <laughs> I am impressed.
My cat's pretty amazing. He can play with his own toys. He doesn't need help. So you gotta let it go, that's part of the fun. Okay, you got it wound up, but you gotta let it go, pal. Okay, we see you, we're proud. You know how to pull the string. There you go. You know, I have to say, I've really enjoyed our mini vacations going to Tennessee and Columbia, but I am glad to be sitting, well, I was sitting, but sitting and not moving. You know, stationary sitting. We spent most of our evening watching Dual Survival on the Discovery Channel. Um, it's pretty much like Man vs. Wild, but there's two people, and they don't get along all that well, and it's really funny to watch. Um, there's probably someone who watches it for actual tips, but I watch it for comedic value, and also because it's pretty interesting. Um, they do do some pretty cool stuff. Like tonight, they had to make... Uh, a boat um, just out of the stuff that they could find in the African savanna, and that was pretty sweet. I also finished up a little more of my Let's Play stuff, so I have very little to do. I have like just two or so episodes to do tomorrow, and then I can begin backing my stuff up to reformat. Hopefully, by the end of tomorrow, I'll be reformatting my computer. That would be awesome. Because then I can actually get started on working on the recital. I didn't, I don't even know if I told you guys this, but. Uh, back in May, uh, there was a recital for Justin's wife, Laura, her dance studio. They had a recital, and I normally film them, but I was still in school, because school ran into stinking June. Um, so they filmed it. So I'm going to edit it, but I haven't been able to edit it because I wanted to reformat first, and I haven't been able to reformat because we've been do-do-do-do-do-do all over the country. So, hopefully by the end of tomorrow, I'll be reformatting my computer, and I'll be able to actually get started on that project. Hopefully. So that's going to be it for today. Thank you so much for watching, and let's meet back tomorrow, shall we?